As a percussionist, it's a fact of life that I can't take my instruments with me wherever I go. That's why this week, I'm gonna be teaching you some methods to practice without your instrument. Let's get started. First thing you need is a space to play, some mallets, and a metronome. I used a towel on a coffee table, but floor play is another great choice. Since you're not at the instrument, you can't really focus on note accuracy, so instead we're gonna be looking at our stroke type and making sure that our hands are nice and loose and our grip is nice and relaxed. Work on your intervals in both hands. Make sure that your grip is relaxed and that your mallets are moving in a smooth and efficient manner. If you play Stevens as well as a cross grip, make sure to hit both grips. Take a look at your single independent stroke as well as your double vertical stroke. You wanna make sure that your mallets are following the prescribed rotations and you aren't slicing or you don't have any excess movement. The lateral stroke, we're gonna to wanna to take a look at our stick height, make sure everything's consistent, as well as work on developing torque for our smaller intervals. This is gonna help with our permutations. This lateral practice leads into developing our alternating stroke as well as the one-handed roll. For permutations, you wanna make sure that your two lateral strokes are even and connected, moving smoothly from one to the other. You're also gonna to wanna to take a look at the consistency between all four mallets. Is one of them too loud? Are your outer mallets louder than your inner mallets? Those are things that you can look for. Pick a specific passage from something that you're working on and then develop the skill that's required to execute that passage. You'll find a huge difference once you get back to the instrument. Of course, counting is important to all musicians and since you don't have your instrument with you, now's the perfect time to development. Count some difficult passage, play some counting games, or even play a metronome game with yourself. Once you're back at your regular instrument, be sure to reapply these techniques on the real thing. You'll definitely see some improvement. Now, I hope I've helped you feel a little more comfortable practicing without your instruments around. But I feel like I'm forgetting something. Nah, it's probably nothing. You have a great rest of your week. <laughs> okay, I'm going on my trip now, bye-bye.